What's going on YouTube? Justin here back at it again with another video. Today I've got something a little different. I've already used it once so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a review as in I'm hoping to continue to use this throughout um, the next couple of years with my Miata and my mom's car. Let's dive into it. So, as you guys can have uh, seen, if you guys haven't read the title, obviously this is a jack I bought from Harbor Freight. It is Daytona one and a half ton aluminum jack. Now, as you can see, it's got some pretty. Uh, turn the camera around. Start showing you guys. It's a pretty low profile jack compared to most uh, compact, smaller size jacks which is nice. It's got the nice long handle with the padding down here. And then up here, it is not padded, but it has like this little etched pattern in it, which is pretty neat. And the uh, this little part here detaches, I'll show you. Yeah, it detaches just like that. And when you wanna put that back on, if you need to store it, how you do. Push it back in like so, and there's that little pin that locks it in place. And then this is where you would put it on the mounting point of your car. Like I said, I like the low profile, the fact it is because my car is slammed. And then these wheels, I didn't think they were going to roll too well on the ground that I was putting them on. But believe it or not, I mean, you can see the... Uh, marks in them obviously already but they're metal they're not rubber so hopefully they'll last a little while they're still rolling right now um this one's not really touching not on even ground right now so but uh it jacks up till let me just drag it up here. just trying to hoping to keep this short but it pumps up really well it holds it nice and high like so that's as high as it goes. Probably wouldn't put it up so high like that when I'm putting the jack stands under anyway for a shortest period of time. It's got a nice little handle here. It's got this thing to keep this in place, I believe. And also, I believe, relieve some pressure if needed or something like that. When you jack this up under down in here, that's where you would add your oil if necessary, I guess. I think I never really add jack oil when I put when I use these things. It's just usually once they go bad, I replace them. Um, which I do not know where I put that one, but I have the red one that I usually use. It's kind of getting old. I've had that one for about two years, so that's why I went ahead and got this one. And also the fact that I have the KBD body kit on now. And I'm going to get tired of using these all the time. Once I do oil changes and everything. Routine maintenance and whatnot. But uh, I'd say that if this lasts me over, over 8 months to a year. I will be purchasing one again within the next year or two. But um, for right now, I'm enjoying it and would recommend it to others. All right guys, so it's a kind of a rainy day out today, but I kind of wanted to put out the effort and make the video. So hope you all are enjoying the content so far. And please, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next video. Peace.